Hey, what's going on guys? So I wanted to talk about coming back to programming after a hiatus or a break, whether that's a few weeks, a few months, or even years. I know some people will take, you know, five, 10 years off to do something else and then they'll want to come back. And it can be really difficult to get back to where you were. And I know a lot of people say programming is like riding a bike. And I do agree with that to an extent, but I think that that bike is really wobbly and you're going to fall a few times before you can really get back to where you were. So I have some tips that have worked for me. I took a, a like a two month break last year just because of severe burnout and some other things. And it was tough to get back into it. And these are some tips that, that helped me out. So hope, hopefully they can help some of you out as well. So the first one is to stick to a specific area. Um, there's a lot of different areas in programming. And especially if you were gone for a, a while, you might see these, these new cool technologies emerging, you know, machine learning, AI, blockchain development, things like that. But I would, I would suggest that you don't just jump into everything, that you pick one thing that you're interested in and just stick to that. Um, and this is just in general, not just for people coming back um, from some kind of hiatus, but pick one thing and it might even be something completely different than you were doing before because you obviously stopped for a reason, you know, you, you, you lost motivation or whatever. So maybe do something different other than you were doing before. But the main point is just to stick to one thing and don't overwhelm yourself with a bunch of different technologies. So next I'd say set a timeline or a schedule. You don't want to jump back in and start coding six, eight hours a day right away because you're going to burn yourself out really quick. Uh, you also don't want to spread it out too far where you're coding once a week or once every two weeks. So there's no magic number. Obviously, everyone's different. My general recommendation would say would be like two hours every day or every other day, maybe at night or in the morning, whatever fits your schedule, obviously. But just start slow and then gradually increase um, just so you don't get burnt out right away. And then next, I'd say to catch up, catch up on the industry, on specific technologies. And obviously, this is going to be more difficult if you were gone for years. There's probably uh, things that you were working with before that that are completely deprecated and, and outdated now. So you really have to figure out what you have to learn and where do you go from here. Um, and even if you, let's say you were a React developer four years ago, if you're coming back now and you still want to be a React developer, you're probably going to have to learn hooks because you probably don't know hooks if you quit four years ago. Uh, so you just need to really look at the documentation and see what's popular, see what people are using. And this kind of brings me into the next one, which is start learning again. And truthfully, if you're a programmer, you're always learning. You're never you're never going to stop learning because technology just moves so quickly that you have to keep yourself up to date and, and you can always get better. So you're going to have to start learning again, maybe watch some tutorials, some courses or books, whatever the learning medium that you prefer. I know for me, when I came back after my two month break last year, I opened up VS Code to just create something, anything, and, uh, and my mind was just blank. So I went to Udemy where I have literally hundreds of courses, most of which I didn't even start yet, and, uh, and I just followed along with a project, and that really helped me just get back into it, just physically coding and thinking and getting back into that mindset. So I would definitely recommend doing it that way. It doesn't have to be courses. It can be books or uh, articles, whatever it is that you like to learn with, but you're definitely going to have to start learning again. And, and don't get discouraged if you're watching tutorials and stuff about things that you, you, you already know. It's just to kind of get you up to date. I think once you start to, I think that's where it's kind of like riding a bike where you start to get into it and things just start clicking again that you already knew. You just need a reminder really. So next I'd say uh, start a side project. So after you do some some uh, course projects or whatever, you know, I guess guided projects, I could say, then start to do something on your own, some kind of side project that preferably something you're interested in uh, or something that, you know, maybe during your hiatus, you worked in the medical field. So maybe you could do some kind of medical SAS, you know, some, something to do with the medical industry for hospitals or doctor's offices 
or you could do something related to a hobby. Maybe you're into photography, so you could create some kind of product for photographers. Just something you're interested in to keep you motivated. And it's important to do side projects in addition to just courses and guided projects because that's it's more real life development, right? Because you run into issues, you have to debug, and you have to figure things out on your own. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, next, I'd say join a community or rejoin a commu uh, community, maybe tech Twitter or some kind of uh, coding Discord server. If you're lucky enough to find something in real life, I know it's, it's hard with COVID right now, but if you can find a meetup or something like that, I think talking to other developers and, and um, just kind, to, kind of socializing and talking about coding and all that, I think helps bring you back into, into that, the whole mind space. So next, I'd say get back to work uh, after you do some of this stuff. And I would imagine that you guys coming back want to make money with programming somehow. And that could look different depending on what you want to do. So if you want to work for a company, you can start to prepare for interviews and so on, whether it's part time, full time. If you want to freelance, you might want to start looking for clients. If you want to build some kind of product or SaaS, you could do that. Although that's difficult because you do need some way to pay the bills in the meantime. So everyone's situation is different, obviously. And I would even suggest that maybe you do something different than you were. If you were working for a company and you got really burnt out and you weren't enjoying it anymore, maybe it's time to try something on your own, which can be new and exciting. And then the opposite is true as well. If you were working on your own as a freelancer or building some kind of product and it wasn't working out and you got burnt out, then maybe try to go and work for a company. You know, maybe you need that kind of change. So I would definitely just start to think about getting back to work as a programmer. So next I'd say don't get discouraged. And, and this is obviously easier said than done. And this, this goes for everybody, not just people coming back from a break. It can be really easy to get discouraged because technology moves so fast and we're constantly having to you know, update our knowledge and learn and we get imposter syndrome. But when you're coming back from a break, it's even worse. So try not to get on a negative path or a negative mindset. I know for me, when I took my two month break and came back, it was really hard to get motivated again. And even now it's been a year and I still don't have the same type of motivation and drive that I did two, three, four years ago. Uh, I think I went through like five years where I just worked like a machine and woke up at 4.30 in the morning, started coding and, and I was just very, very passionate and, and driven. But I think that we go through peaks and valleys uh, in this industry where you go through phases where you're all about it and you have all this energy and then things happen, life happens, whether it's relationships, mental health, physical health, kids, anything can kind of bring you down and you're not, uh, you know, you're not as focused and as motivated and frankly, you don't feel as smart because you're just not as into it, but that's normal. That happens to everybody. So just again, try not to get on that negative path. And then the last thing I'd say is make sure you take breaks because you obviously got burnt out in some way to to stop, you know, so take frequent breaks through the day while you're coding. But I think it's also important to take longer breaks throughout the year. So maybe two, three times a year, you can take five to seven days off and go on a vacation or just go do something that you've been wanting to do something outside or something different than just staring at a screen and i think that helps just keep your brain refreshed so you don't get too burnt out so that's really it guys i just wanted to share those tips with you those are some things that worked for me uh, if you have any other tips feel free to share below in the comments and that's it thanks for watching